This is slide six, ovule with megasporocyte slash megaspore mother cell. And in this slide, we are to look for the megasporangium, megasporocyte, ovule, placenta, and ovary wall. So this entire structure here is a cross section through the ovary, which if you recall is at the very base of the pistil. The stigma is at the top, the style is in the middle, and the ovary is at the base. So this entire structure is the ovary. Okay. And inside the very center is what we refer to as the placenta. The placenta is the center part of the ovary, which is where our ovules will attach. And these are the ovules. Here is one, here is another, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth. So these ovules attach at the placenta, which is at the very center of the ovary, of course, this is the ovary wall on the outside. All right, so now we are going to take a closer look inside one of our ovules. So I am going to increase our magnification to about 100x so that we can see those a little bit clearer. So this is, again, one of the ovules. Another is over here. And we will take a look inside there. So. The ovules house our megasporangium, which is this space here. It is the sac, which will hold our megasporocyte, which is this cell. It's a very large cell here. I will go up to about 400 times magnification now so that we can see that a little bit clearer. This is our megasporocyte. Now, the megasporocyte is the counterpart to our microsporocyte, which was our male cell that did not yet undergo meiosis. This is the female reproductive cell, which will undergo meiosis to produce our megaspore. Our female parts often have the mega or sometimes macro prefix whereas our male reproductive parts have the micro prefix. So this is, again, the megasporocyte, sometimes referred to as a megaspore mother cell. Your lab manual also calls it either the macrospore or the megasporophyte. Any of those prefixes, mega or macro, large, refer to the female structures versus the smaller micro for the males. Now, this will undergo meiosis, which will produce four daughter cells. However, in the female plant reproductive structures, only one of those daughter cells will survive. So this is undergoing meiosis. There will be a division. One of those first daughter cells will survive, it will undergo meiosis too, and only one of those daughter cells will survive to produce the mature then female megaspore. Okay, so that is what we need to see for this slide. I'm going to zoom back out just to show you the larger picture. Again, this is our ovary which houses the ovule, which has our megasporangium that holds our megasporocyte. And the ovule itself, right here, is attached via the placenta, which is in the center. All right, that's it for this slide. And we will continue looking at the female reproductive structures in slide seven.